to exclude art based on the color of the artist's skin. 180 people signed that letter at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. And I say that's despicable and that's racist and those 180 people should be ashamed. And Gary, you never should have quit, buddy, but... Yeah! Hey team, what's going on? Well, there is problems and the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. Another high-ranking official has resigned. But why? Let's dive in and find out. So here we go. Let's, we read from Artnet News. Um, Gary Garrels, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art's longtime chief curator, resigns amid staff uproar. Here's the guy. Ooh, look at him. He looks evil, doesn't he? It goes on to say, Gary Garrels, a senior curator of painting and sculpture at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, has resigned following an uproar from employees over his comments at a recent staff meeting. You see, here's the problem. And I did a video about this recently. It, uh, it, was, a, it was an open letter, an open a racist open letter demanding that uh, museums, curating staff, take into account someone's race while they stack and stock their uh, museums. Gone is the meritocracy of, of art. Gone is the uh, powerful impact art has, replaced with what color skin the artist has. And so if there's not enough black artists being represented in a museum, despite the quality of work, then they're gonna get upset and they, they've called and many artists have, have, have signed this open letter. Uh, go ahead and check this video out, it's all about that. But this video is not about that. This video is about the latest casualty. This guy, Gary, Gary! Brother, I know you're a liberal. You're probably a leftist. You live in San Francisco. You're, you're an artist. You're a curator. I know you're a, at least a Democrat. This is what you've gotten, man. How many people have you supported being canceled? Hmm? And now you're being canceled. Now, it's not fair you're being canceled, and I disagree completely. You shouldn't have resigned. You shouldn't have, man. You should have made him fire you. Forget that. And But why did you resign, Gary? It's because Gary had the temerity to say that he was not. And this is a quote. He ended a, because they were talking about getting more black representation. And so people were, he thought that people were would be afraid that suddenly now we're going to start asking what an artist's skin color is. Or if they're, if they're black uh, artists. And so he said, don't worry. We were definitely still continuing to collect white artists. Because that <laughs> is on the chopping block. That's being discussed in places. So that's all he said. To so the high crime of saying, don't worry, we're still going to collect white artists. He has been shunned. And he, they, they, they put a um, an Instagram post where a hundred employees, there's not that many of them, all signed. And here it is right here. Let's read it. At the SFMOMA staff meeting this week, senior curator Gary Garrels was asked to respond to his documented earlier comments about collecting white male artists. <sighs> he responded, including violent language. Violent language. I don't even know that. That's not a thing, guys. Language isn't violence. Stop being retarded. Uh, Mail his, his response included violent language claiming reverse discrimination. So not only is there no such thing as violent language, but if there were, saying something's reverse discrimination isn't violent. That's just calling things out as a fact. If you did exclude all white artists based on the color of their skin, guess what that's called? That's called racism. You, <laughs> you see, and he was saying... Y'all weren't going to be racist, but you're saying, no, 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 we want to be racist. We're going to be racist, and we're going to exclude white people because of their skin color. Not because their art sucks. Not because there's black art that's better. Because their skin color. That, that's what these people want. That's what these racist people wanted. And they're calling Gary racist. They're saying Gary is the one who's being uh, disruptive. He's the one that's being, that he, you know, by saying he, there's revert. He didn't want to have the, the museum. By, all, by excluding white people? Because if you exclude white people, that's called reverse discrimination. And actually, no, Gary, you're wrong. It's just called discrimination. Okay, there's no such thing as reverse discrimination. That tells me in my mind you have this whole idea about so uh, societal and, and systemic racism that, well, just isn't true. Because, Gary, guess what? You're, you, Gary, are now the victim of that. But I know you're not racist. I know you're not. I know that you are trying to be a good guy here and you're trying to be fair. It's like, it's not fair to exclude black people as historically was the case. It's not, it's not okay to exclude them based on their skin color, so it's not okay to exclude white people either. That's a very reasonable thing to say, Gary. These people are being unreasonable and by you apologizing and resigning, 
What, what, what good did that do? Let's go back to the article. So it's soon after, a group of former employees who had been advocating for change at the museum created a petition calling for his resignation, the one we just read. Uh, it had been signed by 180 people as of, the, as of publication. Jeez, how many people work at the damn museum? By the way, they're being hit hard because of coronavirus. They're down 30%. Gary's removal from the museum is non-negotiable, the petition's authors wrote. Considering his lengthy tenure at this institution, we asked just how long have his toxic white supremacist beliefs regarding race and equity directed his position curating the content of the museum. Well, it sounds like he's trying not to include race. It sounds like you guys are the ones that are trying to make him consider it, and he was saying, no, we're just going to consider the art on its merits. We're not going to exclude people just because they're white. And see, so here's the deal, guys. If you need to know what the race of the artist is before you can appreciate a piece of art, you're the racist. You're the problem. Not the, not, not, not the curator. You are. We, we, we go on. Referencing the early comments described in Instagram post, Garrow said he wanted to make clear that I do not believe I have ever said it is important to collect the art of white men. I have said that it is important that we do not exclude consideration of the art of white men. That doesn't matter, Gary. You're just trying to you're trying to appease the the mob, and they can't be reasoned with. And you're you're being very reasonable. Gary's continuing that true diversity and the fight for real equality is the important battle of our time. Gary, don't you get it? They don't want equality, okay? They don't want equality. Terry Crews said it very well. He said, "We need to be we need to make sure that Black Lives Matter doesn't become Black Lives Better." And that's what this is happening. That that, that these black people are better and deserve a, 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 a vaunted space just because they're black. I don't give a shit. I don't care what color you are. I want to see art. And if it's good art, I want to see it. If it's bad art, nah, well, whatever. Someone might like it. Whatever. That's not the case. The important part is skin color has nothing to do with that equation. So Gary goes on to say that uh, he would contribute in any way that I can reach that goal. Nevertheless, he said, I realize in the current climate I can no longer effectively work at the museum. And you know what, Gary? Sounds like you're one of those white liberals who hates white people. And I don't want to stick up for you because I think you're the type of person who honestly supported this type. And if, and if it was somebody else who was getting canceled, you would probably wouldn't stick up for him. But it's you being canceled, Gary. And but this isn't the first time. See, Gary, this this is the problem, bud. This isn't. You're not the first one. You're there's been several. Let's take a look at another one. This is from July. Nan Keaton is uh, is resigning as deputy director of external relations at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art because she. Censored, uh, she censored a black former worker who spoke against institutional racism at the museum. Yeah, pretty nasty stuff. Now, agree, I do not agree with censorship, especially if it's a, it's a state or city-run museum. So I don't agree with censorship. She shouldn't have been censored. However, what what this person, this former state, was saying was completely ridiculous. Uh, the former museum communications worker called the post a cop-out, criticizing uh, the museum for only a, a amplifying a black artist during a surge of black mourning and pain. You see, you can never appease them. They're not; These type of people aren't going to be happy until everything's out and only what they want is in. Okay, so you, 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 you try to give them an inch and they want the whole damn mile. So, I, what, what, you shouldn't have censored them, but at the same time, you shouldn't have given in either. Uh, during a surge of black mourning and pain, without providing a meaningful statement, the museum has a history of using black pain for their own financial gain, she wrote, naming Keaton, uh, director Neil, the director and marketing officer, and uh, they, she, she labeled them as profiteers of racism. Her comment concluded, museums kill black people too. Well, they thought that that was putting people at risk because everyone, both sides think that language and, and words can be violent, so... Uh, they both point the finger that you're killing black people. No, you're killing others. And, and Keaton told workers some of the comments violated the terms of the platform as it created potential threats to individual staff in the museum, and we chose to disable all of the comments. This language threatens the safety of all the museum and its staff. Oh, well, at least they, they, they just cut all comments off. Now, what was this terrible, evil uh, post? that They posted this image, and with this caption here, uh, why do we need to raise our hands in that symbolic space again and again and again to be uh, present in this country? Glenn Ligon. Glenn Ligon being the artist. Uh, so what the museum did is they stepped out of the light and just let a black person completely take the spotlight and completely send the message because they thought that would be what was best. Well, guess what? <laughs> they didn't because that's not what they want. Okay? They don't want, they don't want white people in power. This is anti-white hysteria. All right? This is, this is, as Gary said, reverse racism, but 
really it's just it's just straight up racism this is this is sick and disgusting that that uh, this this uh, from Ligon is part of uh, it was um, it's a silk it's a silk screen uh, called we're black and strong from 1996 a nuanced work that critically approaches the 1995 million man march led by the evil vile racist Louis Farrakhan of the nation of Islam okay so this is the that's the art by a black man they have a quote by a black man and guess what still not happy and so taylor brandon uh, uh she's, a, she's the former marketing associate that we talked about in the last story responded to the post with a critical comment on sunday this is a cop-out this this is a cop-out presenting a black artist in a black quote from that artist that 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 represents what they're trying to say you know the i mean the name of it is for god's sake we're black and strong and Taylor thinks this is a cop-out. Using black artist art to make a statement that needs to come from the institution. I'm sure that if you said that, you would have said you were excluding uh, a black voice. So you can't win with these people. You really can't. So you don't get to, to amplify black artists during a surge of black mourning and pain. Having black people on your homepage feed is not enough. What else would you... So it's not okay to do it during a surge in feeling and emotion. It should be done when there isn't one, I guess. But that's what the sentiment is. Don't you want... I thought culture was the big agent of change here. See, again, it's not about, oh, wow. Brandon continued to scrutinize top officials at the museum. Chief of Marketing, again, Deputy Director Keaton, Neil, the director, accused them of weaponizing their own black employees and of being profiteers of racism. Well, there's no way you can win with these people, so you might as well just not give in, not apologize, and not resign because these people are insane. They, they, want, they, they will not be happy until black is better. See, it's not about Black Lives Matter. It's about Black Lives being better. These people are vile. Brandon Taylor Brandon is a vile racist, and so are these other people. The 180 that that wanted to exclude art based on the color of the artist's skin. 180 people at the, at the, signed that letter at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, and I say that's despicable and that's racist. And those 180 people should be ashamed. And Gary, you never should have quit, buddy. But what can I say? Cancel culture is real, especially when you're the type of people. And it's hard. It's hard, Gary, and I, I, I guess Nan Keating too, and all these people. They're all, they're all part of the problem. You all didn't stand up and speak out when it was happening to other people, and now it's happening to you. And now you see how wrong and twisted and evil these people are, and that they don't want equality. They don't want egalitarianism. They want black is better, just like Terry Crews said. Watch out. Everyone needs to be on the lookout and fight against it and speak up. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.